City of Punk here with the main. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, I'm actually pretty good. I'm, I, I think I've had way too much Monster. Dude, I had way too much coffee this morning and my fucking hand like started to shake and like I think I'm starting to get chest pain, but we won't talk too much <laughs> we won't talk too much about that. But uh yeah, for everybody at home, tell us who you are. Uh my name is John Cornelius O'Callaghan the fifth and I am uh one fifth of the main a band from Arizona. I like that. I like that a lot. Right, so you're here of course, UK warp tour. How much different is it, of course, to the US runs which you guys have done many times before? Uh, I'm gonna use a word they use over here a lot. Heaps. It's heaps different. Uh, it's it's indoors, which is very nice. Like we were just talking about, it's uh, not 110 degrees in Vegas. Yeah. It's uh, you know, and, and it, it's only three stages, or tonight there's four, I suppose. But in in Arizona, or not in Arizona, but in the states, uh, there are I don't know how many stages for Warp Tour, which is. It's really cool for us because we have the opportunity of playing in front of a lot more people that don't know our band or you know are unfamiliar with what we've done in the past. So for us, you know, that's why we leapt at the opportunity because it's a it's a stage to kind of you know play for hopefully new new listeners. Yeah, yeah. you're on the uh, Mon stage main stage uh, around about four o'clock. Tons of people in there. The atmosphere from the actual crowd. How was London? It was awesome. It was great. It's a, uh, it's 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 a little bit different too because I feel like we're maybe a little weirder on the bill because we don't scream or you know not as not as heavy. You're surrounded by a load of bands that literally chug and <laughs> a lot of things. So the actual the actual calmness maybe yeah, of your set. You know, we'd like to think that it's rock and roll, but it's it's done a little bit differently. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a challenge, and that's what's cool about it is that it pushes us to. You know, try to pull it out of people and, and, and kind of, you know, showcase what we what we, what we do, you know, so. Uh, of course, your uh, new album, yeah. Forever Halloween, played a few tracks tonight. Yeah. The reception for the fans, how was that? It was great. You know, for us, it's, it's really just uh, humbling to be able to play music still this far into the future, you know. Seven years or, or so, seven and a half, or I don't even know how long we've been a band, but... Um, you know that that's what's really really cool about it. We're very fortunate to be able to play music and um, you know hopefully just be able to play the new songs for for a bunch of new people. That that's, that's the goal. You know? Say that you've been a band for you say about seven seven years. Yeah. The the writing and recording process for this new album was it different? Did you do something? Yeah, I mean recording. You know writing is is relatively the same each time around, uh, save for our second album. We were on a major label. We did co-writes and it was kind of a shitty experience but um, you know for this this one the recording of it we did it live and we did it to tape uh, so we were all together in a room we hit record we, we, we recorded it to tape analog style and uh, you know for us I think that was a an indication of who we are as a band right now uh, which is very cool to kind of be able to go back to the board hit play and hear exactly what you just did and be proud of it, you know, as opposed to doctoring up everything, going back digitally, fixing things, using auto-tune, etc. So for us on this album, it was a, you know, it was a challenge and it was intimidating, but I think we're better because of it as, as a band. You could, you could hear that in the tracks as well. Of course, it's a little more. It's it's definitely it's not exactly old school, but it's uh it's definitely kind of like a a more fresher kind of sound. Yeah, I think it, it just really helps with a humanistic element of it all. There's a pulse to it. There's not, you know, we recorded to a click, but you're not always on time. You know what I mean? So there's a vibe to it, and I think you know just helping each other feed off of each other help create a vibe. So. You were uh, working with uh, Brendan Benson yeah. on the, the new album. How was it working with him? It was very, very, very cool. Um, you know, we're such fans of the Tours, And for him to agree to do it, we were blown away, one. And two, he was kind of the push to, to do it live because that's what he does. Um, and to tape. He's very old school in that fashion. Um, and I think that that's... You know, I, I really truly think that, that 
we're a better band because of, of him. We're a better band as, as far as our, our songwriting goes and as far as our musicianship and, and the way we view everything, we're, we're better because of him. Even like seven years down the line, you're still learning Absolutely. as a band. Yeah, and I think that that's, you know, there's a misconception, I think, maybe sometimes with our music and, and the kind of change that we've gone through each record. I think the misconception would be that we're trying to do it and I think that the answer to that is that it's just natural and it's just not evolving but just it's happening. Uh, it's not forced and as soon as it becomes forced and contrived and it just, uh, you know, that wouldn't feel right, you know what I mean? We could turn around and we could, if dubstep was the popular thing, we could be a dubstep band and just try to make a bunch of money. I kind of, I kind of like to hear that. I would not like to hear that. <laughs> That'd be amazing. That'd Your be voice not. on a dubstep track. <laughs> the whole time you would not be happy, yeah. but it'd still be pretty cool. Yeah. You, uh, you got an upcoming uh, acoustic EP, yeah. Legendary Friends. Uh, tell us more, of course, about it. You haven't really said, said you've, uh, you've, of course, you've got like a, you got a January, February tour coming up yeah. in, the, in the US, an acoustic tour, yeah. but how's the, the EP sounded? You know, the EP was uh, just something fun that we put together because uh, because we can. We're unsigned, we're independent, we can do whatever we want, so um, we'd been getting a lot of like, you know, people asking us to do an acoustic EP um, that, that, you know, supporters of our band. Um, so we, we bought some equipment and we recorded it and produced it ourselves. Um, at a at like a house in downtown Phoenix, um, we're proud of it because they're new songs. They're not like you know replicas of another song that just we recorded acoustic. Um, but yeah, it, it comes out in December, and then we're gonna do a tour. It's not too long. It's not too extensive. It's it's like about two weeks. Um, we're gonna do a tour around it, and you know, kind of fashion some of the other songs kind of cater them towards that set and make it a new experience for people to come see us. So, uh, of course, we touched upon you guys being here in Europe. You've, uh, you've done a lot this year over in the U.S. The excessive touring lifestyle for a band that you guys are in, how do you, how do you take that? Is it, is it kind of scary being away from home or is it become a point now where you've done this for so long you're just used to it? Yeah, I think you're, you're right. It's, it's just kind of embedded in our DNA now. Um, I, you know, I, I really do enjoy the, the studio time that we have creating. I, I think if I had to choose, I'd, I'd rather be in the studio, but you never get affirmation from, you know, I would consider the people that listen to our music our peers because you know, a lot of them are our same age or, you know, we look to them to, to see how they feel about what we're doing. And you don't get an indication from the internet, at least I don't. Uh, I, I'd like to think that the personal interaction is, is where I learn, you know, where I've gone wrong and what I'm doing right and, you know, et cetera. So it's one of those catch-22s. I love creating, but I also love hearing how people are feeling and, and how people are receiving everything. So um, I don't miss home because it, uh, the only thing I miss is, like, regular shower and like a badass bed so I'm assuming you guys aren't sleeping on many floors these days no I mean but we sleep in coffins that are like you know yeah, it's I, not terrible. I get what you're saying it's not terrible but it, it, it gets us from, from A to B That's uh, like Master Flames sat down with us a few hours ago and gave a pretty cool like pre-show ritual yeah. showed us what we're doing do you guys do you guys do much before you go on stage what was theirs uh, they'd all huddle together, put their arms in, and dedicate the set to something that was either a part of the city or they saw that day. <laughs> we do, like, we put our arms in, but we chant this, like, we like to party. <laughs> yeah, we chant, we like to party, and then it's one of those things that we've done it for so long. Pretty much every show that we've done that we have to do it. Or, like, the chi will be thrown off for the set, you know what I mean? Like, it won't feel like we're playing, so... Is it a case now because you've done it for so long that you guys don't even have to call each other over? You you make sure it's everything's there. You all walk over like yeah. <laughs> for themselves, yeah. That's amazing, man. Okay, so we talked about the uh, the acoustic EP. Talked about the tour. You said in uh, in January. Is anything else coming up future plan wise? Can you give us right now? We're gonna be 
on the road for a while over in the States. We're, we want to come back uh, to the UK and do a proper run. That's not just like side shows from this. Um, so that'll be definitely in 2014. Other than that, you know, everything's just driving back to our new album. That's what kind of the focus is. Cool, man. Yeah. Jono, thank you so much for this interview today. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the main.